with all the things we have to do as teachers, sometimes data analysis isn't the most fun. Data isn't very sexy to talk about sometimes, but I think that if you ignore data, you're really missing an opportunity to improve student learning. Sometimes we collect data that can be false data. It's helpful to walk around the room as you're teaching and students are practicing mathematics to kind of get a feel for what they can and can't do in more of an informal way. But sometimes the feedback and the information that you get from that sort of data collection can be really misleading. When you collect data in a strategic way through technology, it can be a lot more helpful and a lot more accurate especially if you're careful on what you gather and how you gather it. Even just taking one quick question or quiz in a quiz format or something, call it whatever, and putting it in an online setting where you have to get responses from every student and then see them all. Not only do you understand very specifically which students know what they're doing and which need intervention, it's also a very good way to guide your instruction where it goes next. When you have electronic record of the data from students, it's very easy to pull students for intervention and make a plan for what you're going to do next in your lesson, depending on how many students have mastered the content and how many haven't. I think we have all been in a place as teachers where we were convinced our students knew what they were doing and then you give them a test, some sort of summative assessment, even formative assessment, and they have no idea. So continually gathering data and validating what your intuition tells you and validating what it appears that students know and don't know can be really helpful so that you're not surprised by test results at the end. In my school, we also use the data from online gathering tools to support standards-based grading. We keep record of student submissions and resubmissions, and we can show their progress along the way so that you can see student growth, and you can have very concrete evidence on if a student has mastered a standard or not. It's very easy to integrate some sort of a data gathering method into even an exploration activity that students are doing. For In Desmos, for example, you could add a screen where they're to summarize or they're to make a conjecture or they're to answer a question that has a wrong or right answer. And then instead of going through as the teacher the entire activity, then you're just looking for specific screens and taking data from that. This is an example of a matching activity in Desmos where it's very easy to quickly see which students know what they're doing and which need some help. This is an example of where I can see very specific concepts that a student understands or doesn't understand at a glance.